Okay. Uh, the craziest thing I've ever done was actually the first cocktail party I had in this mansion. I took off all my clothes in front of Sophie and the boys and ran around the pool and then jumped into the water. That was embarrassing and crazy at the same time. My party trick. My party trick would be after a few wines, I will moonwalk and then probably injure myself dancing. My go-to karaoke song. Well, it would be a tie between Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson and LA Woman by The Doors. The last gift I gave was flowers. Flowers for my mom. If I had three wishes, I would wish for, okay. Peace on Earth, I would wish for a replica bat suit from the 1989 film. I'd want to be dressed up as Batman as often as possible. A tropical island for all my friends and family to party on. My best pickup line is, um, I think you're really pretty, can I talk to you? It's pathetic, let's move on. The worst date I went on was with a younger girl and we talked about how many Instagram followers she had the whole time. That was rad, thank you. My first celebrity crush. Sharon Stone, Basic Instinct. I was way too young to watch that movie, but she was beautiful, and I think she's still beautiful. Sharon, good old Shaz. If there was a movie made about my life, the person who would play me would be, ooh, uh, I'm gonna go with Val Kilmer. When he, not, not Val Kilmer now, Val Kilmer back when he was cool. The last show I binge watched, Californication, right before I came in here. Something that really annoys me is rudeness. Someone that is rude for the sake of being rude, my biggest fear is Miss Piggy. In fact, thinking of her little ears and silky gloves right now is making me feel uneasy. I'm gonna move on to the next question. My nickname is Spadge. It was named by my entire family at birth because I looked like a baby badger, apparently. Whatever they would look like. In a perfect world, in 10 years time, I would be married, happily, with children and all of my dreams are, they haven't come true yet because they shouldn't come true in 10 years, but a lot of the things that I'm really excited for in this life would be coming to fruition. And that's it. Thank you.